with lips, they could kiss you and then kill you. <laughs> Popular media has always depicted dinosaurs like T-Rex with the teeth sticking out because it's scary. Paleontologists started thinking about whether they have lips or not quite recently. So researchers have tried to solve these by looking at living species. So that's actually what they did in a new study. They looked at monitor lizards, iguanas, and crocodiles and compared their anatomy. They took a tooth from a crocodile and a tooth from a dinosaur and split it in half to see kind of like the structure. And the croc teeth, they, they noticed that the side that would like face the exterior of the environment was pretty worn down, but the, the side that was facing towards the tongue was actually not that bad. And then they compared that to the tooth of the dinosaur and it was actually fine in both sides. So that was kind of like the first indication that they have lips because they actually had a layer or something that was protecting the tooth. Then what they did was to actually compare the skull of the dinosaurs with that of a croc or, or iguana or monitor lizard. They found that dinosaurs skull resembled more like lizards and iguana that have a row of big holes just above their teeth. And these holes are called foramina and blood vessels and nerves pass through there. Researchers are still skeptic because it's only one dinosaur tooth versus one crocodile tooth. I just think it's great, you know, that our idea and how we imagine dinosaurs it keeps evolving. It can go from like this scary creature that has their big teeth and is ready to kill you, or they can also be the social creatures that take care of the young. There's so much more interesting than just like uh, a killing machine that's like ready to for their next meal. <laughs>